everybody. It's a pleasure for me to be with you this afternoon. I don't think I would uh, need any introduction, although Pastor Kadalik is there in the back. <laughs> Thank you. We would like to welcome uh, Sir Palaya to our uh, campus. It's good to, uh, to uh, have him. He is the leader of our publishing ministry here in the Union. So we are happy that we have a person whom God has called to lead us. This afternoon I won't be speaking for long. We have some program. I have, I'm speaking tomorrow in PIC because of the music festival or something that I still uh, need to prepare. Mahirap mag-prepare ng magandang sermon. Sa araw yan na pag-iisip, panalangin. Mahirap, mahirap mag-prepare. Lalo na pag kayong nakikinig. Nakatangkot ng mga estudyante makinig. Kasi, okay. Now, this afternoon, I would like to share with you my heart. If ever I entitled, uh, I will entitle what I'm going to say this, this afternoon, I believe that it's time that we will have spirit-filled literature evangelism in our church. Do you believe that? You sabi sa Sekaraya, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit. First, let me explain what I mean by spirit feel. Now, I have to be careful here. I believe it's time that in the literature ministry be taken up by spirit feel men and women. Yung talagang pag sila, it's because they have been called by the Holy Spirit to do the work of evangelism in the area of the literature ministry. Do you believe that the literature min ministry is an evangelistic work? Yes. Then, what the Lord requires from us is spirit feel. Now, I sometimes, I sometimes feel that some people enter into selling books not because the spirit has touched their lives, but because they have a need to earn money. Now, I should be careful here. Kasi, hindi ko naman sinasabi na pag spirit, pag, pag spirit field ka, hindi ka kikita sa ministry. E di pati pastor, wala ng sweldo. I'm not saying that, no? I'm not saying na dahil spirit field ka, kailangan wala kang kikitain doon sa ministry na ginagawa mo. That's not biblical either. The Bible teaches that the workman must have just wages. Remember what the apostle said in 1 Corinthians? Do not muzzle an ox. He was citing the Old Testament. And that is the plan in the spirit of prophecy. And the plan that we have in sharing, you work for the Lord, you have a share in this, is God's plan. Maliwanag ba? It's God's plan. So, oh, pag-uwi niyo, huwag niyo sabihin, sabi ni pastor kayo ba, pag talagang spirit feel ka, kailangan wala kang kikitain doon sa iyong uh, I will be I will be saying what the Holy Spirit has told the prophets to write down that those who serve the Lord are worthy of their part of their wages even the Levites even the Levites who have no share in the promised land they have no land but yet the Lord gave them a share so that they can eat and feed their families. So, maliwanag ba yan? While having said that, what I'm praying is that although we can earn a living through literature ministry, I'm praying that the literature evangelists, that the literature ministry will first of all, or the minister will first of all, have the motive of being called by the Holy Spirit. Yung calling talaga. May kita o wala, <laughs> o maasenso o wala, so to speak, o maabot yung goal o hindi, lalo naabot ang goal pag spirit field, ano? Tama ba yan? The main motive, you can sense it, right? You can sense it when a person serves the Lord that the main motivation is not just money or not only money. So when he works, he prays, Lord, give me a customer. Oh, Tapos, Panginoon, gusto ko ganitong mabinta ngayong araw, ha? May listahan, may kuota. <laughs> oh. But when he prays, who say, Lord, 
make me an instrument of your pro the proclamation of your word today. That's the most important thing. I like the I like the words in the song that we sang. That it's not here, pala, it's in what is projected there. That prayer is very, very important in a spirit-filled ministry. We need to pray. We need to pray so that the Lord can plant in our hearts the conviction that the Lord has called us in this ministry and it is by choice. Ha? Hindi yung napipilitan lang na sana kung may pera ako, hindi na ako mag -E -L -E. Oh? Maski walang pera, nag -E -L -E pa rin. <laughs> Ibig sabihin, Whatever be the circumstances that we have, that you have, you are in this ministry because the Lord has called you to be in that ministry. Number one, let me repeat what I already said. I, fe I firmly believe and I call upon you. It's time that young men and women like you take up a spirit-filled ministry or, or work the literature ministry of the church, spirit field. Let me ask you a question. What drives you? Hmm? What drives you? Is it Mr. Uh, Olarte that drives you? Huh? Or is it, yes, Lord, I have a need. But more than this need, I respond to your calling because I want to take part in the ministry of bringing books and periodicals and magazines, bakit yung periodikal magazine na pala yun? Um, magazines to the people you want to get. It's first of all, a ministry. That's what it means to be spirit-filled. Meron pa akong pinapanalangin. You are students of the university. If you give your hearts to the Lord, what I'm praying is, in a few years' time, you will take your place, not only as an ordinary, Literature evangelist, but by God's grace, you will take your place as a leader in the literature ministry of the church, not only in our North Union, but also in the other parts of the world. Because even as an ordinary member is called to serve, an ordinary LA, God also calls men and women to organize the ministry, to organize the literature ministry. And I pray that the Lord will equip you. Some of you here are theology students. Okay? You may be aware that the calling of a, of a person to the ministry may not be only be in pastoral work. That's what uh, pastoral ministry is all about. Kaya nga minister of the gospel. The Lord could also be calling you to lead out in the church in the literature ministry of His work. Yun ang pinapanalangin ko. Hindi ako mag-appeal ngayong, ngayong hapon. Only the Lord can talk to you and tell you, Hey, I want you not only to be an LA, but I want you to be a leader in the literature ministry of the church. Hindi ako magpapataas na kamay kung sino yun. Eh kasi Holy Spirit lang makapagsabi nun eh. Kung minsan kayo, hindi nyo nga maintindihan yan. It takes years before you say, I, I'm in the wrong place! Dito ako, pastor sa distrito, tinawag pala ko ng Panginoon na maging LA. Why am I in the wrong place? I'm not saying that LA is higher than that. Huwag na tayo mag-wearis, huwag na tayo mag-debate kung which is the highest work of the work of the Lord's Church. Kung minsan nag-debate yan, the highest, the highest. Huwag na ang the highest. The highest is, you are where the Lord wants you to be. Right? If the Lord calls you to be an LA, why are you there teaching? If the Lord called you to be a teacher, why are you there in LA? Parang ganyan yan eh. You must be where God wants you to be. And you must continually listen. That's what it means to be spirit-filled. You always ask, Lord, where do you want me to be? Let me see. What are your experience? What are, there, what, what, what are you teaching me through, your, through my experiences? Many times I hear people give a testimony. Nako nung college ako, nabasted ako, iyak ako ng iyak. Yung pala, hindi pala yung babae na handa sa akin ng Panginoon. Siya pala, praise the Lord. Ayan mga ganyan yung mga testimony. Hindi <laughs> natin alam kung minsan yung mga, yung mga dito. Ha? Ah? 
Hindi natin alam yung mga, mga paikot-ikot kung saan tayo dinadala ng Panginoon until the Lord says, Now you know where you should be. Stay there. Do your best. So that's what I'm praying. The first one, that we will have spirit-filled men and women who will take, who will do their share in the literature ministry of the church. Secondly, I'm praying that from the students of AUP, with your exposure here, with your training here, especially those of you who are involved in ministry and leadership, will take up your role as leaders, not just ordinary members, but leaders of the literature ministry of the church. Last three, and I will go home. <laughs> Tatlo lang yan. Third, when you say, when we say that we are spirit-filled, we are saying, the master of this work, of this ministry, is not me. I have a role to play. I have to ask for contacts. Diba? Alam niya yan, diba? You have to ask for referrals. You have always to listen kung sino yung possible na pwedeng puntahan nyo. I think it's getting, na, it's getting more difficult now to go house to house. Especially yung mga, mga subdivision ngayon, mga gated. Hindi pa hindi lang gated, garden. Yung mga bahay, hindi lang gated, kundi dogen. Ano yung dogen? Beware of dogs. Ha? Yeah, dogen pa yung mga garden, gated, dogen. Yung mga, yung mga bahay. Hindi ka basta-basta makapasok. Many years ago, when I was doing my canvassing work, pwede kang kumato. Oh, lalo sa probinsya, no? Malayo ka pa, tinatanggap ka na. Pero ngayon sa mga, sa mga medyo dito sa Kalang, dito sa Kabite, sa Laguna, mahirap na pumasok sa mga subdivision. Kasi ano nga? Gated, garden, tsaka ano? Dogen. Isa lang ang katapat nun. Spirit led. Spirit led. L.E. Yan ang katapat nun. Why? I remember when I was uh, when I was canvassing. Uh, we used to sing a song. Uh, do you know the song? Maybe we'll ask Pastor Kadalik to sing the solo, the song for us. You know the song, Walk With Me, Master? You don't know the song? Walk with me, Master. Anong sunod ng Pastor? Yeah, there's a song like that. We used to sing. My heart today souls there are waiting lead me to their door something like that i like that song walk with me master when you go out when you pray say lord holy spirit you are the god who wants all people to be saved you are the god who calls people to salvation you are the god who touches the hearts and the lives of people where are they today lead me to them so, when you go into the homes, you're not worried so much of, ano kaya ito, papasok. It's just, Lord, who is the person that in your list, to-do list, ay dapat makontakt ng isang LE sa araw na ito. And wherever the Lord lead leads you for the day, you will come in contact with the person. Uh, part of the song says, Angels are waiting. Yeah, to lead us to their way. That's part of what the song is saying. So, a spirit-led literature ministry is not so much dependent on gimmicks. Hmm? There is a part in advertisement because it can also be led by the Holy Spirit. There's a part of advertising. But more than anything else, the LEs who will finish the work here on earth are the people who like our pioneers and the people who continue to serve the Lord today, always remember, my ministry should be spirit-led. I should cooperate with God. And I should hear from God. And I should listen to God where He wants me to go and who are the people that He wants me to touch. That is a spirit-filled ministry. I pray that in your, in your evangelistic work, you have there 
Student Association of Literature Evangelists. When I was leaving the house, my family was asking, Where are you going? I said, Punta ako sa sale. Sabi niya, sale. Sabi ko, sa sale ako sa sale. Okay. I am praying that in your evangelistic work, in your ministry, number one, you should be spirit-filled. In what way? That each will have a sense of calling. It's a vocation. It's not just a way to earn money or to find a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Ano pa bang mga motives? Find a sponsor. Your my sponsor is PPH. Ah, okay. What else? Ah, matur. So, whatever be the motives, more than anything else, you mature, and as you grow in the spirit, even though how much discouragement that you meet, the motivations, the wellspring, the strength of your determination comes from the desire to obey. Because God has called, God has commanded, God has given you a work, you must obey. That is to be spirit-filled. And I'm praying that the Lord will also use your gifts. Kayo ay mga LA na nakatungtong sa college. Are you aware of the advantage that you have? Ha? Mga LA na nakapag-aral ng composition. Kaya pag nagsulat ng, ng introduction letter, correct na yung English. Ha? Kayo ay mga LA na nakapag-aral ng konting accounting. Ha? Nakaaral ng dentistry. Oh, imagine that. Mm -hmm. Nakaaral ng nutrition. Sino mayroon bang nutrition student dito? Mayroon ba? Very nice. Oh, di mas madali na magbenta kayo ng... Yeah. Ano, ano? Okay, healthy foods. Oh. Kayo ay may sweetheart na. Kaya mas madali magbenta ng I love you. Okay. So, because of your exposure here in the university, the Lord will equip you not just to be an ordinary member, ordinary LA, but to take up leadership in our union and other parts of the world in the literature ministry of the church. That's the second one. Third, what's the last point I was making? that you will be spirit-led in your ministry. Always getting orders from the Lord Jesus Christ. Ha? Pag hindi naabot ang goal, Panginoon, ano pa nukala mo? Try hard naman ako, hindi ko naabot ang goal mo. Are there your plans? Or pag naabot yung goal, at sobra-sobra na, Lord, what is your plan for me? Whatever happens, wherever you're going, Lord, where do you want me to go this summer? Always conscious. Always aware that we are not our own. We have a master. The Holy Spirit leads us and brings us where and who He wants us to contact and to meet. Because our master has no other desire except the salvation of the world. May God bless you in your meeting starting this afternoon. As you continue to dedicate your life to Him, to serve Him in the literature ministry. Thank you.